Blog Talk Radio. You are now tuned into the best, best, best fatherhood radio show in the world. Furthering Fathering Radio Show. It's the Furthering Fathering Radio Show. The, the, the brothers are back in the building. Brother J in NYC and Brother L in the ATL. The, the, the Furthering Fathering Radio Show starts in five. Four, three, two, one. You ready? L- l- let's get the conversation started. I emphasize that if anyone is listening to this as a replay or listening to it live, connect with further and fathering. You will be encouraged. You will be edified. The 20, 30 minutes that we're on the radio chopping it up is nothing compared to the energy and the strength you will receive from men who love you just because you're a man. And then as they get to know you, they speak life to you, they challenge you, they affirm you, and they enable you to be powerful where you're needed, which is with your family. Brother Derek, you're saying hello. It's not only a, it's not only a good for the child, but I think it's a mandate from God. Um, I think the heart of the Father belongs to me and and God has called us to be that for as many children as we can. So I don't really echo everything you said. I'm, I'm, I'm fully on board with that. And I think um, the call is for more men to embrace that truth so that we can begin to rebuild our community, our nation, one family at a time. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Furthering Fathering radio show. Uh, exciting, exciting time. Just coming off an incredible Father's Day. Um, I am your co-host in the New in the NY area. My 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 bestie, the other co-host, is taking a a, a, a sleep of absence. I mean, a leave a nap of I mean a sleep a leave of absence today. <laughs> um, so we. we <laughs> So we're going to make the the most of it. And um, uh, after this, because we want to honor your your, your summertime, uh, we're going we're gonna to take a quick hiatus for, for, for about a month or so um, and let it rest and then let it simmer and come back strong again. Anyway, tonight's show, uh, Fatherhood Focus, Father's Day Takeaways, the NBA offseason, and decision-making decisions. Decisions, decisions. So you know how we do. Before we start, we always give honor to our Heavenly Father. And uh, when it comes to decisions, uh, one of the best verses to read and to memorize and to keep at the forefront of your mind is Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. But I'm going to read from the Amplified Version, and it reads as follows. Trust and rely confidently on the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own insight or understanding in all your ways know and acknowledge and recognize him and he will make your path straight and smooth removing obstacles that block your way Uh, thank you Lord Uh, that means that you're available and that you're ahead of us, and that if we're wise enough, we call ahead uh, in humility. We thank you, Lord, for being ahead of us, for it is uh, through foreknowledge that that you, you, you laid down everything, including how you order our steps as fathers. You, you, uh, you are to be honored, for every day is Father's Day, for this is the day that you have made. Therefore, we will rejoice. Hallelujah, and be glad in it. Bless this call. Bless this time together. Uh, as we keep it light, you are the way, the truth, and the life, and the light of the world. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. What up, what up, Lance? <laughs> How you doing, good brother, Jeremy? Oh, amen. man, I amen. am ex- excited to be alive, man. Um, we, we come, uh, we're coming off Father's Day. And um, I just want to hear from you. How was your Father's Day, and what was your takeaway from 
this Father's Day for you? Um, you know, what, what what happened on your Father's Day? How was your Father's Day? Hey, Amen. Thank you, brother. It was a good Father's Day. Actually, it was a great Father's Day. I had a great time. I got up with my brother, my sibling, Stair Step. We went back to our roots, Rochdale Village, and we went around to the circle, seeing some good friends. And we just ran into some good quality, good friends from a long time ago. We felt good. They had a, a faith, which is the father of the live in the hood, had their annual. What up, Kenny? Um, <laughs> yes, Kenny, big Kenny had our great, great time out in the Baisley Park with him. We spent some time with him in the organization that's doing well over there. And they still celebrated another Father's Day, had lots of children, families out there. Um. The, the the downside was out of all that great time, we forgot to pay our own father. <laughs> one second, one second. You, you you got muted for a second while you were talking. Say that lesson you oh. said on the downside. The, on the downside, which is a terrible side, yeah. we forgot to say hi to our father. He's right there in the building, and we missed him. We was having so much fun. We, uh, we said, well, we didn't get to say hi to Jack, and he let us know about it, too. But we Uh-oh. see him all the time, and it's, 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 it's like he explained to us, we do so much good throughout the years for him that um, we are definitely forgiven, but it's understood because he, we was having right. so much fun out there. It was just a great day. Oh, But how do you miss your father on Father's Day like that, like really? <laughs> you, you know what it is. Yeah. You know what it is. Um, we get a lot of pressure to to produce on Mother's Day, not just from our actual mother, but from society in general, because there's a heightened expectation for you to produce something for Mama, right? <laughs> something, anything, a card. Fruit basket, something for mama, but for but for dad, you know, um, you know, and, and, and Lance call drop. I don't know if he dropped his phone. You know, we have crazy weather here in New York, but um, sometimes it's it's, it, it, it's one of my takeaways is that um, during Mother's Day, two days after, I'm still saying Mother's Day, Happy Mother's Day. No, thank you, thank you, thank you. I said Happy Father's Day to somebody today at work. And and he was like, wow. I said, yeah, we don't we don't normally get it after Father's Day, you know. But I, I think it's it's high time that we uh we, we 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 continue to honor each other because ultimately every day is Father's Day. Um, brother, uh, eight thirty one, eight eighty eight you know thirty one. How you doing? I'm blessed indeed, <laughs> brother Jeremy. How you man? How you doing, G H? Uh, Gregory I'm Harris. Going. <laughs> I'm doing well, bro. Still standing strong like a tree, rooted and planted, bro. How was your Father's Day? Oh, lovely, bro. Lovely, man. Got a matter of fact, I got a chance to uh, visit our brother KB KB's house. That's Kenny Braswell's house. He had a barbecue, man. Man, met some good people. Also got the chance to see Lamont and Chad. They also uh, showed up there, man. Listen, we had an awesome time there, bro. Well, ATL always does it up. Oh, it's it's like I can smell the barbecue in ATL from here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. We, especially, so just, go ahead, go ahead. Not be no, I'm saying especially, especially you know the going through from last week, you know. Of the burying, burying of the wife, you know, the wife's home going. If I had the, yeah. I'd be able to have the Father's Day, we you know week right after that, man. You know, that was that was that was a that was a total blessing for me to be able to participate in that. And and and, and our hearts go out to you. Um, having to bury your your wife is is not. It's just the, the fact that you're on the call now. Um, love you, love you, uh, Greg, and all the work you've done and continue to do to to spread the word about further and farther and love you and and, and thank you. Um, um, I, I know you're blessed with wonderful children, and um, I know it can't be easy, but uh, yeah, God has, has sprinkled some rain, uh, 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 some sunshine in the midst of your storm so that you can have oh, some joy in, in the middle, middle of your morning. So, so love you. 
and, and, and thank you. Thank you for even even calling in to, today, man. Thank you. Um, uh, you're uh, welcome, I'm gonna bring bro. In brother, I'm going to bring in Brother Guy real quick if I can. What up, what, what, what up, Brother Guy? How you doing? Hey, Brother Jeremy. How you doing? Oh, man, excited to be alive. Excited to be alive. Yes, sir. How was your Father's Day? It was it was a good Father's Day. I didn't have all my kids with me. Um, my thing is always to have my girls, my my daughters and my granddaughters. But um, you know, uh, two of my daughters was in Atlanta, and uh, one just moved to Ithaca. So uh, I only had one daughter and my wife. So, but they made it. They made it pleasant. Uh, they um made breakfast for me as always. Then we went out. Um. They took me out to dinner in Brooklyn and, uh, you know, Jamaican food, and it was good, you know. So I, I really enjoyed myself. So so you what know? was your takeaway? What was your takeaway? What was your takeaway um, if you, in general for Father's well, Day, just I, your observance? I, I've always had a good Father's Day. I never had a whack Father's Day ever. I, I'm going to tell you, between my, my kids and my wife, always mm-hmm. gave me a dope Father's Day. It, you know, when my kids were small, I used to, before Father's Day, I would uh, go uh, like to Models or something and uh, start picking out my gifts. Or I would lay down big hints, you know. And this <laughs> right. first year, I didn't give I didn't give any hints of anything. But my girls, they brought me uh, like um, they brought me uh, seeds and and the flower flower beds for for the uh, for my garden and uh, you know fruit and vegetables and peppers and all kind of stuff. They they got me a whole kit, you know, for my garden and um also also and yeah. And you know, so I was like, you know, 'cause they know my garden is my, my place is in. And um uh, it, it it was so cool. It's like I I again, I always had a great father's day, you know, this this the first time I didn't have all my kids, you know. But, right. Right. You know, it but, 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 but 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 you still had a great one. Um, yeah, we're going we're going to get into into we're going to get into into the into um into some other topics in a second. Uh, um, you know, um, uh, after the celebration, um, you, you know, um, it's often time for reflection. You know, after you get yeah. honored, you you start to reflect because it, further and farther, we always say, hidden deep within honor is accountability because you want to live up to the honor, right? So right. um, uh, it's an important time because um, there's a lot of decisions have to be made, and, and I would like to parallel things to, to things we see in the world because you know we're, a lot of the guys are further and farther are NBA fans. So we, you know, the, the NBA finals just finished, and uh, uh, you know the, Toronto just won a, 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 the first championship for that for for Toronto, and the whole country was there. The whole country of Canada was behind them, which was awesome to see. Um, um, but uh, after the victory and after the celebration, decisions have to be made. And, and right. it parallels fatherhood. You have uh, free agency where you, where you, ha- where you um, use the funds that you have ha- had available to determine the best uh, people to bring in, uh, the, best, uh, the, most sk- the best skilled people that match what you're trying to do so that you can have victory. And then you also have the, the young up and coming though that you're going to develop. So there's there's like two levels of decision-making that they make in the NBA where you, and I know we wanted Zion in New York, but he's going to New Orleans, but we're looking forward to possibly bringing in RJ Barrett and a special thing because of father's day uh, and there's a connection because I went to St. John's university with uh, RJ's father, uh, Rowan Barrett, and we've talked a few times in the lunchroom and in, in the library a few times, you know. Uh, we, I won't say we were best buds, but, but we, we know of each other anyway, you know. Right, and uh, right. to see, to see um, his son uh, to, do, to, to even ex- excel, he was a good player at St. John's, and he, he went on to do great things in Canadian basketball and overseas. And um, now to see his son do well at Duke and possibly bring it back home to New York, um, uh, uh, exciting times, and and but decisions like that, you see how God had lined things up so that 
uh, uh, someone who had ties here became great and could come back and contribute to the to the future victory of 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 this area. So as dads, right. we have to um, to make decisions of who to connect with, uh, uh, who to invest in, um, and um, those type of decisions after Father's Day, it, it kind of heightens. So we we actually even thinking about shutting down the radio show for for a few for, for maybe about a month or a month or so, and really just get into uh, decision making, uh, dream vision casting, uh, and things like that uh, to to really bolster. Uh, uh, our hindsight, our insight, and our foresight, so that we make the best possible decisions. Uh, you know, as I said, this year it's not about uh, making the uh, a good or bad decision. Good or bad is is a low level of thinking. We want to make best and great decisions. So it's what's best and what's great. So um, that's that's kind of going to be the focus. I'm gonna bring in uh, uh, forty one seventy eight. How you doing, my brother? Forty-one seventy-eight. Is, I think that's Lance. Anyway, hey, good brother, I'm here. Because <laughs> I know you had dropped. I know you had dropped before, and, and and since we 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 like to get it hot and heavy since we're halfway through the show, I'm also going to bring in uh, sixty-seven seventy-one. How you doing, my brother? Hey there. How are we doing there? Jeremy is Ron. Good how are you? Hey, Ron. Great, hey, great Father's hey, Day weekend. Hey, how was how was your week? How was your your Father's Day, Ron? Uh, it was quite interesting. I was ministering while the guys were having fun. <laughs> <laughs> so you worked on Father's Day. <laughs> yes, I did. I was doing daddy's work uh, on Father's you, Day. You do a, the father's work. On Father's Day, yes. that's a, hey, that's, that, that sounds familiar. That's what Jesus did, right? Hey, um, yeah, absolutely, um, yeah, so, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, so um, uh, we we know we started talking about basketball. I know you are a basketball coach. Um, Guy was a, was a basketball coach, and Lance was a basketball player. Did and you say Greg, what? I think he watched. I think Greg watched basketball like, <laughs> like me. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's that's his highest level of, of the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so um um uh, we we're, we're talking about decision making. We're, we're 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 paralleling it to the decisions that general managers and and and, and presidents of basketball operations have to make uh, to improve their team. It's about improving the, the 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 championship has already been won, so it sounds familiar. The, we're already given the victory, um, but uh, we can't sit on your laurels because we know uh, uh, what it's like when you know when David sat around the palace. All kind of other distractions started happening. Um, so um, it's about attracting the young to develop the draft, you know, drafting the young, and it's about uh, adding value. To what you're already doing through free agency, those who are freely come and and, and want to be a part of uh, and connect, uh, you know that you want to invest in them to connect and enhance what you're doing. So I guess we can start the conversation. Um, and and any of you jump in, and I think oh I had I had Greg. Uh, what I need to do. That's why. And get the hell on out of there. Probably spend time with them for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's why <laughs> I had unmuted him and he didn't know it. <laughs> he didn't know he was just, just, was, said, he was oh, just oh, unmuted. Not my lane. <laughs> <laughs> I muted you again, oh, Greg, because you, you you were, you were huffing and puffing and blowing the house down. Um, uh, um, yeah. So, um. Yeah, we we um this there's a time um uh, especially after celebration you have to be careful because your guard is down uh at uh, what you win. Your guard is down. Uh you 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 you're you, it's easy to be inebriated uh in during the time of victory. Uh it's, mm-hmm. it's easy to attract attention. Some wanted and some unwanted, 
after after victory, but the whole thing is to prepare for opportunity because sometimes um, you have to make additions and subtractions, but um, you want to maximize your opportunities. And, and, and we know as a fatherhood organization, further and farther, around the time of Father Day, for, for, uh, Father Day, we get so many opportunities, too many opportunities. Um, but uh, you can't say yes to everything. Uh, so you have to be selective. Um, Brother Guy, can you talk about the importance of being selective in, de- in decision making, if you can? Uh, being selective in decision making. Well, yeah. One, being a married man, you're going to always be selective in your decision. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Amen. That goes without saying. <laughs> it, it's a different standard. Single fathers, married fathers, the two different standards. So um, you're yeah. going to always be selected in, in, in far as your decision making when you're a married man. But if, yeah. if, if, as a married man, if you're on the same page as your spouse, you know, things will work out. Things will, will, will turn out just right. Um, and that's that's the key. To, to any decision making, um, making a decision may be a right decision, bad right decision, great one, or or or, or um, a terrible one. Uh, yes. Making the decision can be the most powerful thing you can ever do. Making a decision may be a right or wrong, but making a decision will be the most powerful thing you will ever do. Just making a decision. So being selective yes. about it just really means that you you took in you weighed in the pros and the cons and that that makes right. it selective but making the decision in itself is the power yes yes that's powerful that's powerful um uh, um brother brother ron brother ron the you know, the word says to lean not to your own understanding it also tells you uh through a multitude of counsel make war it says through a multitude of counsel are purposes established. So is, isn't that part of, part of God ordering our steps? Uh, you, you have to have a team to even pick a team, you, uh, you, you, it, whether it be the NBA draft or the NFL draft. You always have the, the draft room, and it's always full of a whole bunch of people. So uh, um, to even pick your team, you need a team. So can you kind of speak to the importance of having accountable partnerships of wise uh, counsel uh, 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 to help you as a dad to make wise decisions? And, and, and Greg, uh, um, if you, uh, I'm going to unmute you. Um, I want you to chime in right after that, okay? Okay. Yeah. Well, it's okay. One, one of the key things I right. always use as a standard is uh, – Words well, do not you lower your standards, you need, so. but only your demands. Say say that again. Did you guys hear that? That one of the key no. things I look at is, is not the is the, not allowing yourself to lower your standards, only your demands. Yes. Um, you know, and, standing on <laughs> on that word and understanding that, like Jeremiah Jeremiah twenty nine uh, eleven tells us that the plans of God. Uh, you know the plans of men are uh, many, but it is a, it, but it is the purpose of God that will be fulfilled in your life, and yeah. and being able to to build the foundation so that upon that foundation you can put the proper pieces, which are the team that fit properly into that foundation, is the key. Yeah. But if you don't yeah. have the understanding of who you are and what's required of you individually and corporately, you won't know what kind of pieces are supposed to fit. I mean, yeah. if you took that and looking at the NBA, that's why you have personal, you know, uh, personnel, uh, 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 player, player coaches and, and operations. They're hired yeah. and given this large amount of money because they're experts in knowing how to put the proper pieces together that fit to make the team work as a whole. And yeah. it's, it's like a puzzle. It's a puzzle. If you're putting a puzzle together, every piece has its place. If you can have a piece that's very similar to another and fits one third of that part of the puzzle, 
But because there's a gap and there's a separation in there, it does not fit the puzzle completely, and the puzzle does not look correct. But if you recognize and remove that piece and put the piece in place that does fit and then put the final piece in, then when you look at the puzzle, you have completed the task because everything is in its yeah. proper place at the right time and it's aligned properly. And that's how it is for us as leaders and as, as men of our household. We have to stand back and look at the pieces that are supposed to fit in the puzzle. First of all, we have to know what the puzzle is and then we need to know the pieces that fit and how they're yeah. supposed to fit. Because yeah. we are the foundation of the family, and unless we're in that proper position, then we cannot guide and lead as we're instructed to by the Most High. Powerful, powerful, powerful. Um, putting the pieces together, you know, um, uh, um, you know, you, you lay out all the pieces, but you, well, you know, what's beautiful about a puzzle is though this, it, it, it may start out in pieces. Um, there's the picture on the front of the box to show you what it's supposed to look like when it's finished. And Lamont and I always say, anything that you begin, begin with the end in mind. Begin right. with the end in mind. Have an idea of what you want to see when you're finished. And what's funny is what you want to see, remember, God can do exceedingly abundantly above what we can ask or imagine. So if we take those small steps, because Lamont and I were talking earlier, uh, that Sometimes the big picture can overwhelm you, and it causes you to freeze, and, 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 and a great idea can die the death of a million qualifications. You'll find every reason why you shouldn't even begin. But if you mm. take the small step, if you take the small step and do what you can, when you can, uh, 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 you don't worry about the qualifications because when you get to that, that, that you, thing you need to do, you'll do it because you've already started. If you have to do what you need to do before you start, you might not get started. But if you start doing, and then you run into something you need to do, then you want to you're going to want to do it so you can keep going. So uh, 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 it's it's a matter of motivation. It's a matter of information. It's a matter of inspiration. But the whole process is a matter of transformation. So um, yes, sir. Under, yes, sir. Under, uh, understand that the, the importance. Of you being transformed right in front of your kids, um, it's a slow process. They see it, uh, and just the same way you see them slowly growing. As you draw those little marks on the the, the edge of the door, you see them slowly growing. Your, your, your children are seeing the process of you going from a young young dad to an old dad to a granddad, and they're going to want to go through those process those processes too. So, or pick. The, the next, like our, do- our daughters picked the next generation of fathers, and uh, as Colin uh, eloquently said. So, um, and we're coming up to three minutes left. Let me let Greg back in. Greg. Um, yes, sir. Greg. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, the importance of, um, of being selective was was talked about, and the importance of uh, of having a team to. Um, Make your team decisions. Now, how about thinking outside of the box? Because sometimes uh, familiarity is what gets you into the rut, doing the same right. thing over and over again when, when when God wants you to do a new thing. Can you talk about, and we're really brief because we, we only got two minutes left, um, talk about the importance of doing a new thing and, and to keep your, 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 keep yourself inspired you know the main thing is why you're doing what you're doing because if you yes. because if you're doing something doing something for a cause it's much more bigger than an isolated idea you do, right. you're going to do whatever it takes and whatever's necessary to make things happen so you don't you don't you don't put yourself in the box when there's when 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 you're doing it for a cause, yes, that's powerful. That's powerful. Mm-hmm. So you have to pick something that's bigger than you, so that you do something new. Exactly. That's, that's powerful. Yeah. If you you have to pick something bigger than you to do, so that you do something new. Man, that that that, that uh, as we close, um, uh, Lance. We have something coming up on the 29th. Can you talk about it real quick? Um, yes, we have the blessings of being able to um, host 
uh, further and farther and along with the Jewish board, our um, domestic violence 101 awareness is going to be this coming Saturday, June 29th in the Rockdale Village Small Library. We would love for all the brothers out in Long Island to come support us. Our um, triangle effect over here in the Queens chapter. Uh, we will have refreshments. We will also have giveaways um, for um, participants. And this is going to be a very enlightening workshop on domestic violence awareness. So ACS is all being bought. Yeah, so thank you for another great opportunity. This coming Saturday, the hours are between 12 afternoon, 12 to 3. Not this Saturday. It's the following Saturday. I'm sorry, June 29th at the Rochdale Village oh. Small Library. Awesome. And, and and we'll keep you posted. This is Further and Fathering, where fatherhood is elevated. Uh, families are empowered and communities are transformed by our uh, five core uh, principles, honor, encouragement, accountability, reconciliation, and training. Heavenly Father, thank you for this time together as you grow us into the image of your son. We thank you, Lord, for victory as we're focused, foregoing options, choosing undistracted success. We're focused on victory and we're focused on you, not leaning not to our own understanding, but acknowledge you in all our ways. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Until next, until the next time. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs>